I have now pushed the button. Now you pushed the button. I have now. <laughs> we are recording. We are recording. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, uh, my name is John Mack. Uh, and with me tonight, uh, a very, very special guest who, <laughs> as bright as he may appear, uh, spoke with me openly and honestly about things ranging as, as far and wide as my first masturbation and uh, the run-ins I have had with the law. And uh, this this bright and creative young the motherfucker had not press record. We have now, and uh, I would like to introduce <laughs> my. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John! <laughs> John, you are terrible. <laughs> I, I recorded that, by the way. Listen, well, I'm, I'm glad you should. Have, because, listen, you missed some fucking gems, and you know it. You kept going. I'm going to press record now. I'm going to press again. <laughs> okay, do it. Press the goddamn button. All right. Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. This is an interview that I recorded with John McAfee a few days ago. Hope you enjoy it. Watch out for the colorful language. And please subscribe, comment, click the notification bell, and enjoy. This is Irkut, Siberia which has a cold climate and very, very low electricity costs. This is where Elevate Group's mining farm is located. Open to US citizens, register on the website, complete KYC, order your miners and have them delivered to the farm. The rigs are checked and maintained by a team of engineers, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, has full security as well. I visited the farm in November 2018. Here you can see the two co-founders, Amir and Gabby. Calculations and profits are posted publicly and receive Bitcoin into your own wallet on a regular basis. Do check it out. Well, listen, thank you so much for making yourself available. Thank you for making yourself available to have this conversation with me. But also thank you for making yourself available to other YouTubers, getting the word out, being in communication. Because I think certainly within the crypto community, there is certainly a lot of interest in what you have to say. And a lot of people, I, I think, who have a lot of regard for what you have to say. You know, what I wanted to talk to you about today was, well, we could talk a little bit about mainstream media. If you want to say something about that. Uh, something about privacy, the importance of privacy. Um, also, um, the McAfee decks. And any any other associated in the crypto space in general. That, that, anything else you wanted that to sounds, That sounds like a, a perfect agenda. Uh, let's get started. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, look, um, let's start with privacy. Now, my... My background is in child protection social work, right? So I actually acted as a state agent in a very intrusive capacity. And I, you know, I, I violated families, right, their privacy for the sake of preventing child abuse. However, there were plenty of safeguards in place. And one of the things I was very conscious of is the importance of respecting people's privacy. My children are home educated. They don't go to school. The local authority doesn't knows about one of them, doesn't know about the other one. It's not their damn business, you know. As long as I'm doing fine by them, right? So, what? All right. I hear from you. What is so important about privacy? Why do you think it's so? Important? First of all, first of all, all invasions of privacy have a cause. In your case, uh, child protection. And the government's protection of the government's interests in the IRS, making sure they get every penny in illegal taxes. There's always, always a cause. But, but why don't we, instead of talking about why or how we should be allowed to invade privacy, let's talk about what privacy actually means. Most people do not understand that every moment of every interaction with another human being brings up a totally different set of privacy filters which you exercise sometimes hundreds of times a day with hundreds of different privacy filters. Let me give you an example. You, you go to a Macy's or some big department store, you buy a pair of shoes, you check out uh, the checkout clerk who you have never met, and there are five people in line behind you goes, uh, yes, that's going to be um, uh, $138. And by the way, I fucked 
my husband's brother last night, and I'm really concerned um, about the brother telling my husband that I did it. What do you think? Do you understand how insane that is? Mm. It is insane because that person is revealing something that is so private, it should never be revealed to a casual fucking stranger. And then on through casual acquaintances, which you may say, oh, yeah, hey, I, 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 good to meet you at the coffee shop again. You've been here a couple of times. Good to know you. My name is John. I, I work across the street at Xerox. Well, that's all you're going to, to divulge to somebody who just casually met all the way through close friendships, in which case the girl who fucked her brother's, uh, her husband's brother might go uh, to her closest friend. Oh, my God, Susan. I, I made a mistake. I was drunk. I fucked Sammy's brother Ted. What do I do? Well, that, that divulsion of privacy, that level of hugely private shit, perfectly normal in that situation, but no other. I mean, for example, if you did not want your spouse to know that you were having an affair with their sibling, you would not likely come home and go, hey, <laughs> hey, Sarah, you know, <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, I apologize, but I, 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 and I, I fucked Carol last night. And you don't want to tell her that? No, it's a goddamn privacy filter. It is the most important aspect of your existence. And if everybody knew everything about everyone else, there would be nothing but riots in the streets, starting with a rash of spousal shootings. I mean, you know this is the truth, people. You can't live without privacy. And if you say, I've got nothing to hide, hide from whom? Your boss, your mother, your children. I, I promise you, you got shit to hide from your children. I mean, if you're any normal adult, please, God, wake up, see the truth of yourself. Privacy is the only necessary requirement for freedom. Without it, we cannot have freedom, people. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Which is, which is like I've said, you know, without unless I have the ability to withdraw myself from the public sphere, I'm not free. I'm in a panopticon, forever watched. And, there's, and then, you're watching, man. I don't want you to, my friend. You're I mean, watched. I mean, let's talk about watching. I mean, just okay. for one second. Yeah. I mean, the epitome of being watched. Is the Apple fucking watch. It's not enough that you carry your smartphone with you everywhere, which is the greatest spy device ever conceived by the mind of people. And Apple did it whenever said, you know what, they, they leave those motherfuckers at home sometimes, and we don't know what they're doing, or even where they fucking are. And someone goes, ah, whoa, a watch. People wear that shit on their wrists. If we make it waterproof, they'll never take it off. Wake up, America. <laughs> this is your reality. Okay. But then, then my question is, why, is, if that's an Apple Watch, why are you wearing an Apple Watch, given that right now, you, you know, you're in hiding, uh, privacy is just really important to you? Yeah. Listen, do you think I have a fucking Apple Watch? <laughs> or even a watch with a goddamn <laughs> battery in it? This is a mechanical device. I mean, a nice one. It's made by Bell and Ross. Not the most expensive. It's not up there with Harry Winston and his quarter of a million dollar shit. I mean, no, it's a good watch. It's automatic, meaning it is wound by the motion of your body. And it's one I have fucking had for, what, eight years now. There's not a battery in it. You can't hack this motherfucker. I don't care how close you get. Even if you've got NFC enabled on your fucking phone, <laughs> there is nothing in here to receive it. So, no, I don't have one. I'm talking about the world at large, probably. Listen, we don't even, Janice and I don't even have telephones. I can't. They are the single most um, used device for surveillance. 
on the planet, people. We don't own them anymore. We will never buy another smartphone. No, that'll put us behind. But only in this in this respect. When we're not in our communications room, well, yeah, you know, if if we lose our taxi driver and he's supposed to be circling the block, we can't call the motherfucker. But how inconvenient is that compared yeah. to the fact that not a single person living on this planet can find Salome and listen, I am the creator of cybersecurity people if I do not want to be found. <laughs> I'm not going to be found. So okay. there we are there. Anyway, Bill and Ross, uh, $6,700 on Amazon used um, and probably one of the better watches I've ever had. I mean, Listen, I've I've fallen off of cliffs with this fucking watch on, um, and you name it. So there you have it. Okay, so look, what would you say to people like myself? You know, who don't have the insight that you have about um, secure cyber security and privacy. Who do use mobile phones? What is it that we can do, like simple steps, in order to preserve our privacy? There's only one thing you can do. Because listen, if you think you can have a private conversation. <laughs> well, move out of your mother's basement because such a thing is a dream from the past. I'm John McAfee saying this. If anybody in the world knows this, it has to be me. Wow. There is nothing in your life that's private. The only thing you can do, and it is the most powerful of all weapons, and it's called disinformation. Disinformation. Given the fact that you cannot be anywhere where no one is listening, make sure that what people are listening to is laced with nonsense. I'm going to give you an example from my own life while <laughs> I have been with Janice. So five years, like the FBI is following me, Everywhere, and there, there's no way I can ever send a private electronic message to anyone in the world. So knowing I watched, I, I went to a board period three years ago. I mean, it really was bored. I wasn't yeah, I mean, we, we had what we needed. You know, I'm, I'm 71. Let's just relax. Okay? And I go. So what I did is I <laughs> created a scheme with myself and a couple of cohorts uh, using fake and bogus emails, which and we were communicating through truly private channels, um, such that I was involved in a drug shipment of methamphetamines on a freighter coming from China, which at that time was one of the greatest producers. Okay? Um, at a specific dock at a specific time in Los Angeles, and a port, uh, and we communicated about this. And the FBI, in conjunction with the CIA, had to spend millions of dollars planning the raid on the ship, which actually fucking happened. Um, uh, and these ports, uh, I, I, listen, do not trash me for having put you know, 48 Chinese freighter employees in a uncomfortable position for a day or two. No one was harmed. Okay, nevertheless, and we were laughing as it was fucking unfolding that it was all bogus. I didn't have anything to do with the methamphetamine shipping, and the people that I was dealing with who were paying me money allegedly uh, were bogus people. Now, this is what I do. That's some serious fucking disinformation to fabricate an entire, and it requires a few friends, but use your head, people. Say things that you know the other person is going to know is disinformation. Hey, Fred, are we still meeting in that bar, the one that we talked about? The you place we were the night before last? Knowing that the night before last, both you and Fred were at home fucking you have communicated something. That'd be that unique bar that you guys met, found out about just yesterday. So please, people, this is the only thing you can do. Because if you're hoping for a private channel 
where what you say or do is not recorded and videoed by your smartphones or by Alexa or by the fucking television right in front of you, which even when turned off is still recording. If you think you can have a private conversation in that environment, <laughs> start shooting up heroin because that's the only hope for you people. Wow. That's, that's pretty scary. That's, it's pretty despairing and scary, but it's a useful warning. It's a useful warning. Okay, well, st staying on the subject of privacy, I'd like to move this on onto uh, privacy coins, because uh, and then I suppose we could talk a little, uh, and of course, talk a little bit about cryptocurrency. What what is what do you think privacy coins are so important? Okay, well, to explain why privacy coins are so important, we have to first look at non. Privacy coins, like, like um, uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. 